Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Let's walk the talk. We all need to overcome the challenges that we go through, and this is why we are now to how to overcome the challenges of single parenting. Liz. Yes. We've heard about the challenges, we've yes. heard about the causes, how to deal with self first mm -hmm. before I deal with the, the rest of the party. Yes. Now, how is one able to overcome these challenges? Because I understand there are some are paining. Yes. Some are traumatized. Yes. And especially when you talk of it is a loss. Yes. I can imagine when I lose my precious thing, or rather, uh, you know, yes. it is so painful. True. How, or rather, what is the process of overcoming the challenges of single parenting? Wow. There are, there are many uh, strategies mm. to help this parent to overcome. And uh, as we have said, that number one is to deal with the parent, uh, him or herself. And so he can only or she can only do that through talking. Mm -hmm. Number one, the first thing is to talk. And we encourage them to come to counseling. Mm -hmm. they, they seek for counseling and uh, not to maybe engage many people. Because when we say counseling, I can be a friend. You can be my friend. Sure. And I can offer the counseling services. <laughs> yeah. But how confidential is my maybe information? A yes. Mm. That's why we are saying that we need counselors to come in. Go to a counselor, a trusted person mm. that you know, yeah. who, is, uh, who can keep your information confidential. Because we, need, uh, we, we don't need somebody who will now broadcast your things. Mm -hmm. So keep on talking, keep on sharing your, your bitterness, keep on sharing your story. And once shared, it is half solved. So keep on uh, talking about it. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have to have a clear, you know, making decisions. You have to be firm as a parent, as a single parent. Remember now here that you're the person who is dealing with everything. You are the one going to school. Mm -hmm. You are the one dealing with uh, everybody at home, your life, your children, your friends, and other in the community. So you have to really be firm mm -hmm. in making decisions. You don't have to keep on uh, following people because... That is where they are going. That's true. You need to sit down and make your decision. Mm -hmm. if, even if you're a single parent, I can stand and say no. Mm -hmm. I can stand and say yes. Because we have seen many who have stood, mm. who have done great things. So we encourage them to keep on talking. The other one is about multitasking. Mm -hmm. Remember this person now has to embrace all the roles, all the roles uh -huh. and responsibilities. Mm. Remember that we are talking about a single parent who has a child or children mm. who are in school. These uh, kids, they are coming back home with school uh, homework. Mm -hmm. They need to be directed on how to go about it. The same person is supposed to plan on how the cows will be fed. But now when you talk of multitasking, yes, and I understand we are different in culture, uh -huh. and there are some cultures that there are some roles that a, a, a wife care is not supposed to do. Yes. Like for example... We have uh, the end of the year in, in a culture that you know. Yes, yes. Uh, there's this uh, rite of passage mm -hmm, activity mm -hmm. where men are the ones that are, are supposed to take over yes. or rather to mentor the boys. Yes. Now, here is a case of a single parent. Yes. The son is in a process of uh, the whatever, uh, rite of passage. How will this lady be in a position to multitask? All right. Uh, RK, we are coming to, uh, maybe the other point was on this parent mm -hmm. seeking for help. Okay. All right. You cannot do everything alone. Mm. Remember that uh, we are looking up to you. Yeah. And so you have to be ahead of the society. For you to stand, you have to be ahead. Now you have to like think like a man, behave like a woman, mm -hmm. for example. <laughs> <laughs> for example, you, you know, for like a lady, mm. you have to think like a man and behave like a woman. Mm. This is, uh, and for example, you take it like myself. Okay. I have a son mm. who is uh, a teenager now. Mm. And uh, he went through uh, the rite of passage like two years ago. Okay. And so I, had, I didn't have a, a man around me. Mm. So I had to seek help from my, my older brother. Okay. And you also maybe have a younger brother or maybe a friend, a family friend. You can even go to a, a man of God, mm -hmm. a pastor, and mm -hmm. seek for help mm -hmm. for, you to, uh, for them to assist you to take this boy for initiation. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to do it yourself. Okay. And that's why I'm saying this, this lady mm -hmm. has to think before, mm -hmm. you know, ahead. She yeah. thinks like a man, but uh, behave like a woman. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so when we talk about multitasking, mm -hmm. these are the things we are talking about. You have to embrace all the responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You have to balance. And remember, you have a life. 
and you have a life for your children. For real. So you have to, rem to balance between your life and the life of your family. All right? Mm. Uh, the, the last one we said is about seeking help. Uh, and we have said that you have to seek help first for yourself so that you can be able to help mm -hmm. your children mm -hmm. and also help the community. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you don't have to like do everything at no. yourself so that you die. Mm. Now, the last one maybe mm. is you have to do more than expected. If, even if your husband died or maybe he, you divorced, mm. we, I mean, it's only a few weeks or months and we have forgotten. We want to see your kids going to school. That's true. So you have to do it. So we are expecting you have to do more than expected. So there is no point... Oh, you, I'm supposed just to seek sympathy and kind of... Uh, I want people to sympathize with me. I want people to come into my aid. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, we can allow a, a, a moment for mourning, mm. especially for, for the loss, okay. both either death or separation. But you don't have to stay there. When you fall, you don't just stay there and you were like, well, yeah, RK, you, fall, you have fallen. You don't you have to, to, no, to look no, no. for me. You have to wake up. You have to wipe yourself. And then you move on. You know, you have to do more than expected. Mm -hmm. Do more than the community is expecting. Your kids go to school. We have seen single parents who have their kids are graduating from university. You know, and they have paid the university fee. That's true. So you, ha you don't have to, like, uh, feel pity for yourself. You just wake up, you know, tell God to give you strength, and you move on. Now, Liz, there are some things I don't understand when it comes to doing extra than expected mm -hmm. and yet i'm in morning session mm -hmm. you know yes and now the community also is expecting me now to act yes in a manner that things look normal yes what am i supposed to do uh rk we started by saying this lady or this man has to keep on talking the first thing is to seek help from a counselor come and talk when you're taken through the, 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 the process of healing, and once you're coming out of that, you are a different person. You see things differently. Mm -hmm. your, your heart is healed. You can be able to tackle any challenge mm -hmm. that you meet. Mm -hmm. So let this person uh, open up. You know, come, come out and talk so that you can get help. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, you can do more than expected. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that where I am today mm -hmm. is not where I was five years ago. Mm -hmm. I had to really come out and, you know, talk about it, get, seek help, you know, from a, can, uh, from a counselor. And I also decided I want to do this course. I want mm -hmm. to exactly know what goes on so that I can help another person. Yeah. So we are telling single parents, please come, talk, seek that, that help yeah. so that now you can be be uh -huh. able to help yourself. A very interesting top, uh, point has picked as you're explaining about uh, yes. uh, doing extra. The some, uh, something you said like you take care of yourself. Yes. The single people, uh, the single parents should take care of themselves. Yes. What about that now? <laughs> uh, remember that we have said about uh, the community. Taking care of yourself is, uh, remember that we have said about the community. The community is pointing at you. The community is looking at you. So you have to really prove and stand firm. Remember that if it is a lady, there are men who are looking at you. Mm -hmm. They really want to, to, to like take advantage of you. Remember we have said that you have to go and seek help. Others wait for that opportunity mm -hmm. so that they can take advantage of that, of the situation. Of, of that the situation. You mm -hmm. And you know, uh, and maybe you can even find yourself getting more children <laughs> Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, in, in the status of taking care of yourself yeah. and we are taking care of you as well mm -hmm. and helping you to mourn, yeah. right? So you have to really take care of yourself. You find yourself adding to oh, three yes. more. <laughs> you have to really stand firm. Remember you have said, uh, you have said about uh, making firm decisions. Mm -hmm. Saying no when it is no and yes when it is yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so in other words, taking care of yourself, is, it's broad. It's broad enough to... You take care even physically, yes. mentally, yes. spiritually. Yes. Wow. Yes. And when I take care of myself, mm -hmm. now, what is another step that I should take now? Like, because I understand as I take care of myself now, I'm in, already healed. Yes. The healing has already taken process. Yes. What now should I do now to be in a position now to come up to the environment or rather to the society and prove to the society? Things happened, but here I'm kicking on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, we have to see it from yourself. Mm -hmm. We have to see from your face. 
You see, when you're left, you're not told to dress well. Definitely. You have to. You have to do some makeup if it is a lady. <laughs> if it is a man, you know, get out when you're looking hot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let people see that you're, 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 you're strong and kicking. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, like, um, you know, look bad, you know, dress down and mm -hmm. all that. You have to really uh, dress well. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have to really take care of yourself in terms of the way you talk. You know, you uh, remember you have to take care of your anger. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that you have to, you know, take care that you don't go to depression. Sure. So whatever you say, you have to uh, take care of that. Mm -hmm. That is what we talk about yourself. If it is spiritual, go to church. You know, do a, a lot of uh, spirit, um, soul finding and all that, mm -hmm. singing uh, good songs that are healing to the heart you and all that. You engage in different activities. Activities, mm -hmm. you know, go out, enjoy, you know. <laughs> you know, go out and do a, some kanyamachoma, mm -hmm. some chiposa pahali. In other words, you treat yourself well. Treat yourself. Because no one is there out to treat you. Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh -huh. It is true you need to treat yourself, yes. especially when you are single. Yes. Watch out for yourself. Yes. Please. Yes. <laughs> what is your parting shot? <laughs> okay, our parting shot today mm. is about, uh, I want us to remember about five things. Mm -hmm. As single parents, even the ones who are watching us, remember that the past cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. You cannot change that you divorced. You cannot change that you separated mm -hmm. or your spouse died. Mm -hmm. Number two, you can, uh, people's opinions don't define your reality. Remember that you have a life ahead of you. Mm -hmm. So you ha people's opinions, how they look at you, how they define you, that one cannot stop mm -hmm. or cannot uh, define your, your life or your future mm -hmm. or your reality. And then everybody's li uh, journey is different. Sure. Everybody has to run their own race. Mm -hmm. Run your race, keep your lane, and we'll get to where we are going. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one is that uh, things will always get well with time. You know, the time, time will heal. Mm -hmm. Things will get better. You might get married again. You know, you might find somebody who is better than who you left you. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you can even get a better life. So with time, take your time and it will heal everything. Mm -hmm. And then happiness begins from within yourself. That's what we are saying, work on yourself. Because it is... Uh, Wait a minute. Happiness begins within. Within you. So in other words, I'm the one who is responsible oh, yes. for my happiness. Yes. Mm -hmm. For you to be happy, it's you. For you to dress well, it's you. For people to see a, a, a good woman walking around, it's you. Good kids, it's you. So it all begins with yourself. Within you. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are saying you have to get rid of bitterness anger and all that and the last one that i love most mm -hmm. rk mm -hmm. is that you only fail if you quit you only fail if you quit if you quit so if you don't quit you're going to make it kindly explain that <laughs> you see there are many people who think that uh dying taking your life mm -hmm. ending your life and all that you know engaging in other funny behaviors that those are things that we can call success no mm -mm. That is, a, we can call them maybe a bit of failure. But when you, when, when you stay, when you, we see you uh, moving on, when we see you well-dressed, you know, you're not quitting, you're there, you're going to make it. You, you, Liz, you're telling us that even when the community or the society is against me because of what happened, yes. I should still prove that time is there for me to heal. Yes, and that's why we're saying you work on yourself, heal, and then stand to the community and tell them, yes, it happened, but I'm still the same Liz. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was left. Mm -hmm. Yes, I divorced. Yes, my husband died or my wife, but I can still make it because I've, I've not quit. I'm still there holding on. Maybe the last question is, yes. uh, is there a grace period I can give whoever left me when maybe time of healing has come so that we can be reunited? <laughs> <laughs> Remember we have said that everybody's journey is different. We are all different. Yes. You can take time to heal. Maybe like two months, I can take like six months. Other people, you know, take longer to Even mourn. years. To mourn, Even yeah. years. Mm. But that's where we are saying that you seek help early so that you, the, the counselor can walk with you. And the faster they walk with you, the longer they walk with you, the faster you heal. The faster you give out your story for your, the counselors to work with you, yes. the faster you'll get the healing. Yes. So it is good to seek for help before you start mourning alone please yes where can we get you <laughs> <laughs> uh myself you can i'm in nairobi yeah. uh i live in limuru 
and uh, viewers uh, can get me on my mobile number 0722 eight six eight seven four nine i know we shall project it on the on the screen and also you can uh, you can engage me on facebook live mm -hmm. uh or maybe my facebook wall liz darby okay yes she was our guest today councillor liz darby she's reachable that was liz darby our guest today a councillor and we've come to the end of our topic remember sigoness is not an accident it is an occurrence and we can as well overcome I don't want to call it pandemic, but the situation whereby counselors can help you walk through. Until next time, I remain your host, RK Favor, and this is Look Up TV, Walk With Me Show. Thank you. Walk with me.